hay muchísimo error y nos vamos a casa con la sensación de decir, bueno, pues al final sí, son mucho mejor que yo, pero perdí yo. Well, Karen, thank you very much for your help. You have uh, the Instagram here for to to follow Karen. This is a common question. When you're playing paddle, you like to, you know, uh, go up with your level, uh, increase your level, but then you have to fight against better couples. Yes. So, which are your recommendation or your guidelines when you're playing against that kind of couple? I think it's about playing to your strengths rather than your opponents. So, uh, for me personally as a player, I'm stronger at the net, so if I'm playing against a stronger pair, I would try and hold the net consistently. Not go for too much, play a solid game, but just hold the net consistently so I'm in control of the point, my partner and I. Uh, and if, if you're a player that's stronger at the back of the court, the same thing, but you want to play from the back more, hold your position, and again, play a, a really consistent, solid game of paddle. And one more question. Have you ever feel, felt that sensation when your opponents are playing really fast and, you know, and, and with confidence, and then you're, you're struggling, maybe at the back or even sometimes at the net? So in that si uh, kind of situation, uh, what can you do or what do you usually do? If I see they're playing a quick game of paddle and they're, they're playing well to that pace, I would do my best to slow that game down, um, take less risk, play more lobs, uh, play some softer balls down low to their feet, down low out wide, um, and make them work a little harder. Try not to let them dictate too much. So do you think that this uh, is a mistake or even a common mistake uh, when, when your opponent are, feel comfortable playing fast, trying to, to play even faster than them? Yes, definitely. We, we see it a lot. <laughs> we see it a lot. So just play to your strengths and if you see somebody playing quickly, slow the game down. So this is a common mistake, yes. in my opinion. This is one of the most common mistakes. And uh, have you ever felt that sensation when you're playing against a weaker couple than you, that you feel uncomfortable and you cannot perform the best? Yes, because you don't. You, you think, oh, I, I want to try and have a few rallies here, but then at the same time, you think, oh no, I need to win, I need to win. And sometimes you have a lapse of concentration and then all of a sudden yeah. you're four games all in the first set, you think. So it's important to, again, stick to your strengths and your game plan against those players. Well, after our advices or insight, now we are going to listen to Sanjay Gutierrez, you know, the master, the magician, and this is what he told me during the last tournament. Yo creo que dependiendo tu objetivo. Yo soy de pensar que que a veces cuando pensamos que el otro es demasiado superior, entramos y queremos jugar todo winner y al final hay muchísimo error y nos vamos a casa con la sensación de decir, bueno, pues al final sí, son mucho mejor que yo, pero perdí yo. Yo lo que creo que es lo ideal es jugar, aunque te, aunque te maten, intentar jugar, que la pelota vaya y venga muchas veces y jugar y decir, bueno, son mejor, listo, demostrámelo, yo te voy a meter todas. Y bueno, dependiendo del momento, si hay un momento de ventaja que sacan ellos y tengo un 15-40, puedo, como no tengo nada que perder, puedo al final arriesgar un poquito, pero lo dejaría para algún momento. No, no entraría a la pista a jugar todo ficha porque no tiene sentido. Al contrario, yo daría mucho volumen y si, bueno, bueno me voy 6-1-6-1, perfecto, pero jugué y, claro. y, me, y voy mejorando. Bueno, yeah. well, after this video, I would like if you can follow Karen here on Instagram. This is my Instagram. And uh, well, you can follow, you can subscribe to the, this YouTube channel if you want to follow and, and to be on the next video. So, Karen, thank you very much. Thank you. And looking Thanks forward for having to seeing you again. Likewise. <laughs> bye bye. You like the sound. Could you please make some room and get out of my face? I can't grow, I can't blue.